Today's goal is that we're going to be given some side lengths of a right triangle and determine if it's a right triangle. What's really nifty about this is it can help you get right angles if you were to do construction or anytime you want to do right angles, you can just make a right triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. If you remember from our last lesson, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Or that when you square the legs of a right triangle, they added together equals the square of the hypotenuse. We're going to go ahead and determine if this triangle given to us is a right triangle. Let's go through our steps. Now the Pythagorean theorem is used to help us find the other side length of a right triangle. It actually goes the other way. If a triangle is a right triangle, a squared plus b squared does equal c squared. However, that's the only way you can get a right triangle. And anything else that is not a right triangle will not have that work. It won't be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if you notice that um, you want to find something as right, you can go ahead and put it into a squared plus b squared equals c squared to figure out if it's a right triangle. So our first step is we're going to put it into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And remember the very important part is that the largest number will be c. So when you put it in, if the equation is true, it's a right triangle. And we don't even need a step three. That's how easy this is. So let's go ahead and do our example. We're going to go ahead and write our formula. You should always, always, always start by writing a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then let's plug in our numbers. My largest number is 65, so that's the number I'm going to put in for c. And remember, the other two numbers can be either a or b. Because they're being added together, it doesn't really matter which order you put them in. So I'm going to put them in like this. And then we're going to test it out. We're going to find out what 39 squared equals and what 52 squared equals and see if those two added together equals whatever 65 squared equals. So I put in 39 squared and I get 1521. You could either put that in a calculator or Google or whatever you are, are using right now. And then 52 squared is 2704. And we want to know, does that equal 65 squared? And that's 4225. When I plug 1521 plus 2704 in my calculator, I get 4225. So yes, they are equal. So we say, yes, this is a right triangle. Now it might be helpful to memorize something called a Pythagorean triple. Those are numbers that together make a right triangle. And a really, really common one is three, four, five. And if you multiply all those numbers by the same number, it will also get a right triangle. So six, eight, 10 would work. Or you could even do nine, 12, 15. Another one that's really good is 5, 12, 13. So it might be helpful for you when you're preparing to take your test to memorize a couple of these, like 3, 4, 5 is a really good one. It's always used. And that way you can just recognize, oh, that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's a right triangle. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Good luck on your homework assignment. Thanks for tuning in.